Okay, yeah. Same shirt, just spilled stuff. Okay, so we're going to talk about the VCR again. And um, let's just say I want to make another video. So after taking this apart, oh, that's what I wanted to say. You know, when I opened my VCR, because I had to swab all different stuff with alcohol, it said it's the best to clean stuff, especially if you put a moldy tape in your... And I usually, I usually pay attention to and look at the tape. But the inside of it was a little moldy, and, you know, I had to clean it out just in case. They recommend you bring it into the backyard, blow it out with an air can or something, and then um, just throw it away. I think that's what somebody said. Unfortunately, in my circumstance, I try to clean the best and put it back. If it was that easy to get a VCR, maybe I would have just threw it away. But uh, it works perfectly fine. It's like a brand new VCR, too. The picture is wonderful on it. You notice, though, when you make a comparison from a picture on um, a VCR compared to other VCRs, it's relatively the same. I don't see that much of a difference in all the VCRs I've used. Maybe they're all low-grade VCRs that I've used and all that. Um, with the laser LaserDisc, I see there's a huge difference with that, but um, um, I don't have another laser display. I just read about it. But with VCRs, it's the... That's how it is. Another thing to realize with VCRs too, and this is a huge, huge um, thing I want people to know, and this applies to laser disc plays too. With a VCR, you should never buy a brand new VCR that's been in the box for like 30 years or 25 years. The reason why I say that is, is because pieces, pieces in, of equipment, um, gears inside, they all seize up and then they won't work anymore. So, you know, people, they go out, and they buy these old machines not realizing that. Like ones that are in the box that are sealed. And then when they go to open them, they're shit out of luck. I don't know what happens to an eBay seller if it's something like that. You know, eBay sellers have stipulations so they don't so they don't have to accept returns. But the only problem with that is is that um you can override that. eBay will give you your money back if if the item is broken or destroyed. Um, I think they should, but at the same time, I don't think the seller should suffer for it either. There has to be some compromise eBay can make. But you know eBay, they don't have any brain. So so it looks like it's just going to keep going the same way it's been going always. You buy a VCR, um, they say you can't take it back, it works fine. It doesn't work when you get it, and then they have to give you your money back. It's <laughs> Simply, that's what happens now. I wish there was a better way around it. There's a lot of ways you can get... Um, you can get VCRs. The only way I see right now with that old, that has the highest success rate, believe it or not, it might sound like it doesn't, is going to a Goodwill and just buying every single VCR you have in sight there. They're only like five or ten bucks a piece. And then you find the ones that work and the ones that don't, you take back. And you can even you can get those five or ten ten dollars a piece. You can get the money back. Yeah, you only have a day though. So on the first day you buy a VCR or a piece of electronics there to give you a day to bring it back. But then they make you get a credit at their store. That's what sucks about it, though. But at least you have something for it, and you're not getting screwed completely. So, um, yeah, that that's about it. There's not much more to say. It's just, you know, I had quite a scare, because I imagine if I did develop some kind of severe mold problem. I think I would have known by now, because it happened a couple of days ago. If something was in the VCR, who knows what might have happened. Uh, that would have been catastrophic because, first of all, I have other VCRs in my house. The current VCR I'm using is the only one that's pretty much at 100% still. I am, I, when I open, did I mention this already? I'll say it again. When um, I opened this um, VCR up before I swabbed it with alcohol and a few things with a Q-tip, I noticed how clean it was inside. Almost perfect. There were some of the gears that were a little black and all that. You clean it off with, with the um, um, Q-tip or whatever and everything's fine. But other than that, my word, I couldn't believe it looked brand new. This thing had been used on and off for at least 15 years, if not longer. And it looked perfect inside. I think someone I know might have opened it up once because the tape got jammed. But I don't think it had anything to do with the VCR. Sometimes if tapes are bad, they get jammed. And you that's just, you know, it's a pain in the ass altogether. Um, 
All I'm gonna say is, is that uh, I've been using VCIs for a long time, and you know this Sony one I like a lot. It's not a top of the line model or anything, but it does the job. I got another Sony one down here. It's kind of on its last leg from the Goodwill place. Um, there's a tiny line that goes on the bottom. Now I've seen that before on a VCI. It's something to do with cleaning the heads or whatever. Um, I don't really care though. I'm not going to worry about cleaning it. As long as it doesn't start going all over the screen, then maybe I'll give it a good cleaning. I don't know what I'm going to do, but that's just... That one works a little fine. I lost the JVC earlier this year. If people remember, I had a JVC. The JVC one, the only one I ever had for um for uh, VCIs. I kind of feel bad. It was a family VCI. I liked it. It seemed like it was pretty high, not high grade, but it was an industrial almost. It looked, it was pretty durable and stuff. Well, it really wasn't durable. I must have been using. I missed them in on the floor of my foot, just walking around because I have a bunch of. Next to my coach, I have a bunch of machines, an HD DVD player, a region-free Blu-ray player, um, a 4K Blu-ray player with 3D, and um, on top of that, you got the V thing, you got the VCR, whatever. And they're all there because it's the only place I can put it. And I have all these long wires hooked up to the receiver and all that. Um, I forgot what I was gonna say now. Um, yeah, that, that's, that's just it. I'm trying to think. I'm just looking at it. And, um, so I, I yeah, well, I, I don't remember now. So I, I was using the JVC VCR and I hit it and, um, I must have kicked it by accident. I broke the some of the buttons on the front. You couldn't tell because visibly you couldn't tell. You'd have to take the front cover off, I guess, to see because the, the buttons are inside. There's usually just a plastic on the outside that cover the real buttons. So I um I must have broke the play button up stop button well not completely but almost to the point where it didn't work anymore and then eventually it won't work at all. Now I was thinking about this. Now I did have it programmed on my jumbo remote for the VCR, but the jumbo remote is huge. It's not fun to use the jumbo remote. It's too big. So I decided I'm not going to use um the jumbo remote because first of all it might play, it might stop. But all the other functions in the menu, there's some things I can't do without the actual remote, which I didn't have in the first place. Um, so I just threw it away. Um, I had another Sony one that I unboxed, if you look on my channel, it was a long time ago. Slightly different than the one I'm using now. That one had all kind of problems and shit to bed. And you know why? That one broke mainly because it was never used. Now, I remember, it was at a family member's house, and I can tell you firsthand, when I used to go over there, I always used to watch the movies on the one I watch now. That's probably why it still works. Um, the one I'm talking about was in their living room, and it kind of just sat there, and it didn't serve any purpose. Nobody ever set the clock on it or ever did anything with it, so it was a worthless piece of junk just sitting there. Um, what other VCRs do we have? Um, I can't think of anything else. I, oh yeah, oh yeah, we got we got the um the DVD combo VCR I have upstairs, which I don't have a remote control for it. But um, the only thing I can use is the VCR on it. I know the DVD player probably does work, but without any controls, I can't even play most movies. I I tried putting Star Trek Nemesis into the DVD player, and it brings you to the main menu. And if you click play, it won't play. You need the actual remote control to click enter or whatever it is. You know, the middle button in, bet um, in between the, the arrow buttons. You have to click that button in order to um, get on the, into the movie and stuff. I wish some DVD... You know, not just some. All DVDs should just boot up right into the menu when you put them in. All the Dollar Tree ones I bought don't even have a menu. That way, if for some reason you do lose your um, remote control, you can ex at least play the movie from the beginning. Even if you can't go to a certain scene. Nowadays, if you don't have the controller, you can't do anything. You can't get into the menu, nothing. That's why I don't like that. What else can I say about the VCR? The VCR is a very um, tough product. And I have to say, in some ways, it's more difficult to get than a Laserdisc player. Because um, at least with the Laserdisc player, um, there's less of a chance you'll get disappointed because you'll see less models. You'll see a lot of ton of VCRs that you can buy. You're going to... Notice that about more than 75% of them just don't work anymore. 
Um, you're going to have to cut and take some sacrifices too. Like I said with mine from the Goodwill that has a little line on the bottom. You're just going to have to live with it. There's nothing you can do about it unless you want to go buy $200 VCRs on eBay and not have them work. Now, the ones that might work because it hasn't been that long are those Funjay, the, the, but they're low quality VCRs from what I see. The last one they made was 2016. Those might work still pretty good because they're not very old. They're not even a decade old yet. So they're about um, nine, they're about seven years old. Those might work, but the, the quality, would you want to sacrifice quality? Um, that's something you may want to consider. And you have to consider the tape itself. No, Even the best VCR is not going to show a, a shitty tape very well. All right, that's it. Bye-bye.